12 ways to look like you have money without spending a fortune. Hey guys, welcome back to Luxury Galore. Today we'll talk about 12 ways to look like you have money without spending a fortune. Let's head into it. Number 12. Understand your fabrics. There are different kinds of fabrics and each fabric has a unique type of maintenance, styling and sometimes usage. If you do not know your fabrics, you could go to a fabric store or ask your tailor. Knowing your fabrics gives you an idea about what to buy. Polyester, nylon and rayon, all man-made fiber, won't hang properly on your body like natural wool or cotton fabrics. There are times when I changed my outfit for an event at the last minute because I suddenly realized that the material reflects a poor taste. Also, place great importance on the color of your fabric. I'll discuss this under another outline. Number 11. Tailor your clothes. How to look classy and rich. Rich people wear fitted clothes. Wearing outfits that are too big or small reflects the poorness of taste. If you have a new outfit or design, take them to a tailor and let them get your measurements. And ensure the clothing is shaped to fit you almost perfectly. Why? Fitted clothes are a sign of taste, class and wealth. You should build a good relationship with your tailor. If you don't have a tailor already, ensure you get one based on reviews or referrals. Your tailor would have your measurements and after a few trials would eventually get your right measurements. You can work with that and you'll be fine. Number 10. Quality over quantity. I get that you're getting dressed within a budget, fine and good, but that shouldn't be an excuse for dressing in low quality clothing. In all honesty, I prefer 4-5 to five quality clothes to a complete wardrobe of tasteless and crappy outfits. You necessarily don't have to buy so many outfits at once. If you could do them bit by bit, then go ahead and purchase. Don't be lured into buying low quality outfits, save up and get the good ones. Also, I think this should be common knowledge, but don't buy clothes because of trends. Trends will come and go after a while and the clothes will become useless. Get timeless clothes and watch your looks project wealth and class. Number 9. Get tasteful accessories. Accessories are the major ingredient of your outfit. With poor accessories, you stand the risk of looking bland and average. After taking your time to pick your outfits, ensure you get amazing accessories to match them. Your necklace, rings and so on should reflect the wealth you want to reflect. Number 8. Save up by looking for the best deals. Truth be told, this isn't as easy as it reads. You'd have to rigorously search out the best deals online, where you could get good clothes at really affordable prices. You could also check out thrift stores for affordable second-hand clothes. Number 7. Take care of your clothes. Taking care of your clothes regularly is one of the best ways to look your best. Iron your clothes carefully and systematically within the right temperature. Crisp and neatly ironed shirts and trousers send a signal of wealth and elegance. Truth be told, you can never look wealthy in crumpled and rough shirts. Wash your clothes with detergents that'll ensure the colors aren't washed away. These things are vital to your goal on how to look rich. Also, shoes are very important. Spend and invest in shoe shining kits. There's no excuse for leaving your home with dirty shoes. No excuse at all. And for storage, ensure that you store your clothes properly in the right and required temperature. Number 6. Pay attention to details. The whole idea of how to look rich essentially hinges on how much you prioritize details. For guys, your outfit should be carefully chosen from your ties to your cufflinks, and for the ladies, your shoe size, earrings, etc. Also, your color combination is of importance. You should ensure that your colors aren't carelessly picked. Certain colors project maturity. Take our time to study what colors suit you and you'll be fine. Number 5. Get quality leather goods. Leather shoes, bags and purses create an aura of wealth around you. You can't look rich walking around with a pair of dusty and cheap shoes. For a start, you could do brown oxfords. Your bags can't look cheap if you really want to look rich. Number 4. Pay attention to grooming. There's no excuse for poor grooming. Keep your hair in check. Keep your nails in check. Keep your teeth in check. Never look untidy. You can't look wealthy if you can't take care of yourself. Number 3. Avoid logos. Brands with quality outfits don't cross huge logos on their clothes. Why? They have a custom and unique style that separates them from other designers and speaks for itself. Big logos make outfits look cheap and basic, and that's definitely not the way to go if you want to look rich. Showing logos as a sign of reputation makes you look like you're trying too hard and therefore reeks of desperation. Number 2. Wear more black. Yep, I love black a lot. Black portrays maturity and confidence. For men, black is an irresistible elegance that reflects classiness. And for the ladies, you sure know black has this overwhelming hotness to your dressing. Also, the color black is a very noticeable color and sets you apart when amid a large number of people. If you want to look all good and classy without breaking the bank, I suggest you look into having more black outfits. Number 1. Get your hair styled. Having a cool hairstyle is a typical mannerism of rich people. Your hair shouldn't look rough or disheveled. You're never going to look rich or cool if you're always looking unkept and scattered. Moving around with disheveled hair shows that you don't care about your physical health and would put people off at first sight. For most people, the hair is the yardstick for judgement. Get a good haircut, make a beautiful hairstyle and you'll be fine. What do you think about these tips? Would you want to be rich? Let us know in the comment section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.